Hey everybody, welcome back to class. It's Mickey Mikeworth and welcome to the 12 week year. Thank you for being part of our group and for taking on your own future. So it is always an honor to see you here. So today I'm gonna to talk about task batching and task batching is um, a little bit magic because it is grouping similar tasks together and that becomes its own art of saying, I'm gonna push all these tasks together so that they all can happen in this amount of time. So we see people do this for their, like if you have a lot of errands to do, that you kind of map out your errands of what you have to get done there. It is, task batching works the best when you use it in admin tasks. Um, I love it in creative tasks. I love it in financial tasks. I do it a lot in financial tasks. So um, meal prep, you see people do it on meal prep. You see people do it in errands. You see it in lots of different ways. You're going to find your own way. Basically, you're going to say, I'm going to group all of these tasks together so I can get them all done in a smaller amount of time. So what you want to kind of think about is you want to, um, I do mine on like a piece of paper this big. And I start kind of sketching out the tasks that are enough alike that I could do them together. So um, email is one of those where I'll just be like, okay, let me get all of my email sorted and kind of together. Um, so the first batch of the tasks would be to it would be to respond to anything that's important. Um, and then I kind of have my goals for what are the tasks that I'm batching. You have to implement task batching consistently to get the hang of it. So you are going to fail at this a lot, but then you'll start to get good at it. And when I think about task batching, I think about it as first to prepare. I usually get a piece of paper like this and I start putting in all of the eligible things that I could batch together. So for me, it's admin tasks. So I take a whole day and I have kind of a list of administrative tasks that need to get done, right? What are the things that have to be done? I have a list of financial tasks that all have to be done at one time. So perhaps my bill paying, perhaps my sorting through all of, you know, what do we owe? Who do we own? Who needs money? Things like that. So that I'm only sending out checks once a month. And now I'm not constantly stopping and writing a check every 15 days or 13 days or 20, 10 days. Most people have bills due uh, 15 out of 30 days. So writing or paying them 15 times feels like a lot. So, but that is, that's the, uh, that's the average American has, has 15 bills every 30 days minimum. So do them all in one day and, and figuring out how you can get that done. When you're thinking about task batching, I would also think about the areas that you sort of avoid. And then you can put a time allotment around it. So a batch task for me is yard work. So I have one hour, I'm going to throw at it, and I set a timer, and then I'm just going to kind of think about all the things that have to be done in the yard. It has to get mowed. I have to do some watering. I have some plants. I have other things. So I just make a list on one of these of, right, what are all the yard tasks that I can batch? So I'll have another one on meal, on shopping, on, and, and I do different types of shopping. So, so batch tasking for me would be holiday shopping or birthday shopping. I'll, do, I'll try to shop for more than one person at a time. So when you're thinking about batch tasks, I would think about, again, focus, efficiency, productivity. So it is, I'm going to focus my time in this one specific way. I'm going to work on the efficiency of that time so I can use it really effectively. And that's why you put a time constraint on there. Because when you know you only have one hour to get stuff done, you will focus and finish. And part of what you're learning to do in the 12 week year is focus to a finish, focus and finish. That's why I always teach people clean up, clean up your desk, clean up your spot, come to a clean desk every day. That's another thing that you can learn uh, by just uh, starting fresh, starting fresh. So focus to finish efficiency, productivity, are really what most people are going to get. So batch tasking, there is a million 
uh, YouTube videos out on them. What I want you to just think about today is this method, getting a piece of paper and just starting to write batch tasks on it. Task batching, that's what I put on mine. And what do I, what, what can be on that? So for those of you who are doing a lot of social media, you want to get some things together so that you're ready to go. So it's also prepping for that task batch. So I have to really think about what do I need present? So a task batch might be if I'm searching for videos or if I'm searching for something, I have a time that I'm just going to do that. I would encourage you to think about it from an administration of, as administrative, the administrative tasks of your life. Those are the easiest to task batch. Um, so, right, paying your bills, um, doing something with your finances, or meal prep is another easy one. Errands is another easy one. So think about what works for you and uh, and try it. It's going to be part of the magic concoction that you're making that makes your life even better. So thank you for showing up. Thank you for even listening about something as silly as task batching because you're trying and you're trying to make your life better and you're doing it. And that ability to magnify, right, from a place of yummy yummy makes everything better it makes your whole life work better so thanks for considering thanks for just even trying because it's meaningful and i hope you have a good day if i don't see you in class i'll see you here i would always rather see you in class but if i can't see you in class i'll see you right here bye